Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for checking me out today. Well, you know, Avengers Endgame is just out and running rampant at the box office over a billion dollars in five days. But all is not well. The movie wasn't perfect. Don't get me wrong. It was a great movie. I've been to see it four times already. I already got tickets to see it again. So it's a great movie. But I just felt like there were some issues with it. And I want to talk about that. Um, the first issue was the lack of action scenes. I felt like for a movie of this magnitude, with this much anticipation and all the hype around it, there is absolutely no reason why the first two acts were completely lacking action scenes for the most part. The end action scene where it was like a hour long, you know, 45 minute long battle completely over the top. Yeah, that was great. I love that scene. But even in that scene, it was way too choppy. They wouldn't let the scene just play out. They would show you something and cut to something else really quick before you even could realize what you're watching. They're already cutting to something else. So that was my problem with Marvel action scenes as a whole. But the first two acts of the movie, I'll give you two examples where they could have added on a fight scene or some action scene. And it probably would have made the movie a lot better. Let's say when War Machine and Nebula went to Morag and they got the Power Stone from Peter Quill, Star-Lord or whatever. Well, while they were there, I remember when Peter Quill first went to Morag, he actually had to fight Korath and a few of his squad. So right after War Machine and Nebula knocked Peter Quill out, they could have had a nice little 45 second to a minute long action scene where we got to see War Machine use his new suit because that new black suit he had with the red lights looked really cool, but we never got to see him shoot a bullet out the damn thing. So right there, you had a good chance to showcase Nebula's fighting skills and War Machine's new suit. You know, it didn't really take too much. I mean, you don't have to go over the top, but like I said, 30, 45 seconds, maybe even a minute just to have them, you know, show off a little bit. And again, another instance is when Black Widow and Hawkeye went to Vormir to get the Soul Stone. Now, that was a perfect opportunity. If you're going to kill Black Widow like they did, then you could have had her, you know, and Hawkeye fight some people who were there also seeking the Soul Stone. It could have been any random person. Maybe this is a chance for you to debut a new character. It doesn't have to be anybody important. Just a one off, you know, somebody you can throw in there. But yeah, that was a good way to send off Black Widow showcasing all the aggression that she had built up over the last five years and give her a cool action scene before she goes and dies. So that those are two instances where I feel like they could have had action scenes that would have made the first two acts of the movie a lot better. Now, moving into the next subject, and it's Captain Marvel. People were talking about her usage in the movie. Did they use her enough? Did they use her too much? I think they, they used her the perfect amount in this movie. She didn't overshadow any of the main title characters like Captain America, Iron Man, things like that. She came in and she had an impact. She destroyed Thanos' ship. She helped find Iron Man, but she wasn't around the whole movie, sort of taking up the spotlight and having everything geared towards her. So I think they did a good job in that aspect with not force feeding you a character. Now, the only problem I do have with Captain Marvel is that during her scene with Thanos, when she had her hand on the gauntlet and they were like going back and forth, well, she actually overpowered Thanos and pushed Thanos to the ground. That doesn't make any sense. I think that's a little bit over the top. I think a better way that they could have done that scene is for her to tie Thanos. You know, that head bunt where she didn't get affected by it. OK, cool. But then after that, she should have just, you know, stood up to Thanos face to face, heads up and nobody overpowered nobody. She don't push Thanos to the ground. Thanos don't push her to the ground just by her being able to tie him. That shows you that her strength level is way up there because we just saw Ca uh, Captain America and Thor both try to jump on Thanos at the same time and couldn't do nothing. So again, they didn't have to make her push Thanos to the ground. She could have just stood up to him and maybe called it a tie. And then he got the power stone and punched her. So it was a way to make her look strong without making Thanos look weak in any way. And that's what you never want to do with a character like Darth Vader or, or Thanos. You know, a person in that position can't afford to look foolish at any time. And having her push him on the ground made him look foolish. I would like to talk about the complete runtime of the movie and all the, I guess, extra fat that was in the movie. I thought the runtime was perfect. It felt like Infinity War, maybe just a tad bit longer. Some of the scenes that you probably could have taken out was some of the bad jokes, uh, some of the stuff when Thor, you know, the fat scene where they're playing Fortnite. I mean, some of that stuff you could have taken out and replaced with either better jokes or those action scenes that I had mentioned earlier with uh, War Machine, Nebula, Hawkeye, and Black Widow. So the runtime really didn't affect me. Like I said, I've seen the movie so many times that it's fine. I mean, it flows because every the movie is moving so fast. 
it's slow paced but it's fast moving because there's a lot of things going on and it kind of makes you want to see what happens next so in that aspect of it i have no problem with the runtime now my only issue is left is the ending of captain america and iron man as we know it in the mcu i have a big problem with that just because i think that the suits that iron man have now he should have been using in Avengers Age of Ultron. By the second Avengers movie, he should have been having these suits that do what they're doing now. Because I feel like they wasted a lot of time that we have Robert Downey Jr. around making his suits really basic. And I felt like he could have had way better suits way earlier, like maybe five years ago, like I said, when they was doing Avengers Age of Ultron, especially Captain America Civil War. He should have just, they just really weren't creative with his suits at all. And that really bothered me. Now, as far as Captain America, I mean, I guess you could say his story came full circle. You know, he did everything he possibly could do in his final mission. They showed him traveling across space. I mean, you go from a guy, I think he's from Brooklyn or something like that. Yeah, he's from Brooklyn. So he's a guy in Brooklyn, a little scrawny guy. And now he's in a spaceship going across the galaxy through wormholes to fight Thanos. So I think that, you know, he had a, a good raging story arc, but there was so much more. Now that the Avengers are going into outer space and it's a normal thing now, you could have had Robert Downey Jr. in newer, cooler suits and Captain America and the Avengers as we know them going up against newer villains, badder villains, different comic book people. And now when you acquire Fox, and you got all those X-Men characters. This is not the time to sort of send off all the characters that we fell in love with because I want to see Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. I want to see Robert Downey as Iron Man and Captain America all have scenes together. They need to just go one movie without their main characters and then in the future come back to iron man as robert downey but i don't think they'll do that i think they're just done man it's over but anyway y'all that's just a few of my thoughts from the movie uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below if you disagree or agree with anything i said and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it's very much appreciated as you can see i'm a small channel trying to grow but other than that y'all catch your ass out there in this universe peace you could not live with your own failure where did that bring you?